was so cold that uh, Mr. Sir asked me to keep you apprised of a most delicate... Oh. Hi. Um, for Samantha. Jason's not here. Had I known you were here convalescing alone, I would have done my cyber sleuthing here to do something in support of your post-operative process. Oh, I'm fine, really. I'm okay. Well, it's nice of you to not point out that Jack was obvious failings as a faithful friend. I can't imagine that Kelly Lee, obstetrician extraordinaire, would be as forgiving knowing that you were here left alone to fend for yourself. I don't need you to take care of me, Spinelli, any more than I need Jason to. He would actually be here right now taking care of me and doing a very good job, but I practically pushed him out the door because Jason needs something to focus on and I just don't want it to be me. You know, I, I must say that I, I, I salute you for taking such positive and hopeful action during such a time of sadness and loss. No one can ever that. I just think that Jason having a child would give him purpose, a reason not to shut down and, and close off. He would be an amazing father, and I just wanted to give him that chance. I think I'm pushing. What? Was the procedure less than successful? I don't know. It's too soon to know. Oh. I mean, I, for one, am overjoyed at the prospect of a progeny. Why do you seem less than enthused? You know what they say. Be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. So this is called puppies. The jackal respects fair Samantha's desire to be self-sufficient even during her convalescence. However, one cannot deny the healing powers of an herbal remedy. So, here, for uh, mental clarity and acumen. Helpful in making decisions. It's very sweet of you, Spinelli, but having a baby is not just my decision. Uh, perhaps the jackal misunderstood, but didn't Stone Cold give you that decision as to whether or not the path to parenthood should proceed? Well, yeah, I mean, I made the choice to have the procedure, but it doesn't mean that I'm actually going to have the baby or that I should have a baby. I mean, a lot of things would have to change. Well, certainly, but... I would be happy to oversee the operations at our joint business venture, so that would give you more time to parent. No, uh, uh this isn't just about work. I mean, what if I'm not a good mother? It's not like I had the best of examples growing up. I mean, I practically raised myself. Well, yeah, and, and took care of your brother in the process. I mean, that, that in itself shows an innate instinct to nurture. When I got pregnant with Sonny's baby, I, uh, yeah, I definitely wasn't sure I, I wanted kids it, it, it definitely was not planned and then all of a sudden I found myself getting really excited and making plans getting attached <laughs> and then my world came crashing down and I just know that losing my kid was the hardest thing I had to, ever had to go through and Jason's going through that nightmare now how can I ask him to open himself up to that heartache again when I'm not even sure that's something that I want to do Stone Cold took every precaution to protect his child and and even so nothing could prevent Jake's tragic and untimely death I, and now he's grieving for a child that he barely even knew it, no doubt deep regret yeah no doubt and I know that if Jason could do it over again he would do it differently and he'd be an amazing father I, I think a great deal of Stone Cold's pain stems from the fact that he missed out on being a part of Jake's life so why not give him a second chance? I mean, I know that Jake can't be brought back and, and can't be replaced, but I, I know for certain that Stone Cold would embrace any child that would put, be put in his charge. And I don't know, I, I don't think you should let your fears stand in the way of having a family either, because those fears are unfounded. You would make a great mom.